Have you ever Boom. been heartbroken? Now you fall in love with this person. Whatever happens in your relationship happens, okay? And now your heart is broke, okay? Now we're going to go into a little more detail after I'm done giving the signs. Now your heart is broke. Now what happens when your heart is broke? Since we're in the signs, we're going to stay into the signs, then we're going to go to psych uh, psychology next, okay? And then spirituality next. Your heart is broke. Now what happens when your heart is broke? Now when a person breaks your heart, okay? Boom. The first thing that happens is you feel pain, a deep pain. Now there's an as aspect of your brain called the uh, anterior, not interior, anterior with an A. Anterior cingulate, cingulate cortex. I spoke on this in another video as well. Now this part of your brain located in the frontal lobe is the part of your brain which not only processes physical pain, but also processes emotional pain. This is why when you get emotionally hurt, sometimes it can feel like you're physically hurt because it's processed by the same center in the brain. So when somebody breaks your heart, the anterior cingulate cortex aspect of your brain is processing this pain. So getting your so 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 emotions should never be set aside as if they're not important because getting getting emotionally hurt can be literally just as damaging as getting jumped, okay? As getting raped, as getting beat, okay? So so never let somebody cast your emotions to the side like they don't ma matter or stop letting society act like you know emotions is something small because the same part of your brain that processes being set on fire is the same part of your brain that processes being cheated on, being beat on, being lied to, etc. And so the pain is no different. One is just physical, one is emotional. And emotional pain actually hits you deeper than physical pain because emotional pain hits the soul faster. Okay? Physical pain is processed through emotional uh, uh, emotional mediums, which then is filtered to the soul. Emotional pain goes straight to the soul. And so now, boom, your brain is processing this pain and you feeling deep hurt because the same part of your brain which processes physical pain, like I said, processes emotional pain. Now this deep hurt, okay, then translates to depression because what happens is that adrenaline that this person used to make your heart feel is now, uh, is now decreased in the amount that is being emitted. So the neuroepinephrine, which which this person once was stimulating through the anticipation, through through your anticipation of this person causing you to be happy, which would cause you to release dopamine, now you're not anticipating on them making you happy. Now you fearful that they're going to make you sad and stressed. So instead of your body releasing adrenaline, it's not it releases a chemical called cortisol. And so what cortisol does is it creates a chemical imbalance, but on top of that, it leads to depression, okay? Because now your heart is beating slower. So now you're falling into a depressed state, a state of anxiety, on top of the fact you're feeling physical pain because remember the anterior cingulate cortex aspect of your brain is processing the emotional trauma that you just went through. And so now this leads to uh, a, a heart disease called cardiomyopathy. Cardio dealing with the heart, dealing with the blood. Uh, system of the, the circulatory system of the body, aka the blood, and then myopathy means a, de a disease of the heart. So cardiomyopathy is a heart disease, and this is caused by many reasons. But one of the two reasons that we're going to deal with here is heartbreak, and 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 we're going to deal with not only heartbreak, we're going to deal with excess substance and, and proteins in the blood that cause that cause the heart arteries to become clogged up, that cause the heart muscles to tighten and swell due to stress, and it actually causes the heart to swell, and this can lead to heart attack. AK when somebody dies of a broken heart. So you can literally die from a broken heart. This is a literal fact. It's called cardiomyopathy. And so once that cortisol gets to being produced in an unbalanced volume as well as the other chemicals, this helps to lead to uh, cardiomyopathy. And so if somebody breaks your heart too bad, not only will you become depressed, not only will you suffer from anxiety, you can literally motherfucking die from a broken heart. So this is why it's not only important for you to forgive that person, but for you to forgive yourself, for you to for, for you putting yourself in that situation because there's nothing wrong with loving somebody but it's something wrong with not loving yourself enough to move on from the mistakes you made by interacting in that situation I'm finna die for knowledge